Hey, 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 this is Clara Skyly, and I have a question for you. Is there a product that you use every day that you feel that you could not live without, even if you didn't pay that much for it? It's something that you love, that you use, that you actually tell people about just because you love it so much. I'm sure an answer came to you right away. Same thing happened to me. And this is one of my favorite products. I didn't pay that much for it. And believe it or not, I have a landline and I love to talk on the phone. But this way, I can make my calls while I do my chores, put laundry away. So this thing is perfect for me. They designed a product that met my needs. And uh, I love talking about products because what I do is I help entrepreneurs attract the right clients. And attracting the right clients is, uh, of course, it includes different pieces, but one piece is to have the right products, products designed for your ideal client. And no matter how much money you spend, how much uh, research you do, how much you know about your topic, you could release products or programs that are failures. And even big companies have failures. I mean, think about the Microsoft Spot, right? There was a watch that you could receive texts with. You know, they thought it was revolutionary at the time. So when they released this, this product, people were not interested in a watch, really. They wanted a cell phone that could work a lot faster, faster reception. That's what people were interested in. So it was bad timing for the market. So it was a failure. Later, when um, Apple came, came up with their own watch product, it was a success because it was the right timing and the right positioning. Also, let's think about something such as a Google, Google Glass. I don't know if you even remember that, but with Google Glass, you could basically uh, operate the internet with your glasses. You could kind of film things or record things as you were walking around. It seemed to be pretty cool, but there were problems, right? First of all, it was too expensive, and second, there were privacy issues. So basically, the market did not want it. What happened with Google Glass? Uh, most recently, I read that they're considering a niche market, maybe the medical field, something that, that the product is a good fit for. So there you see a problem with the market and the product. And then uh, think about the Samsung Galaxy phone, right? And it's something that we hear about every day, but not because it's a great product, but because nobody wants it. You cannot get on a plane with that phone. Why? Because it catches fire, right? So that's a problem with product design. So as you can see, it could be a problem with the timing. It could be a problem with the price. It could be a problem with issues, privacy issues. It could be a problem with the design. So many things can go wrong, no matter how much money you spend, no matter how much research you do. And the same thing can happen to your products and services. And that's why it's important that right from the start, you design your products and position them to win. And that's why I'm excited to have a series of videos coming up in the next few weeks, just to help you do just that. Because it's possible to succeed and to succeed big way. I mean, think about products such as Jeff Walker's product launch formula, right? Or Ryan Levesque's the, uh, the Ask Method. Or Christian Michelson with his free sessions that sell. Those products have made millions of dollars. And yes, these people have huge platforms and a huge reach. But if the product wasn't right for their audience, they would not sell those products. I guarantee that because Google Glass didn't sell, because that spot watch didn't sell either, because the consumer will tell you, your ideal clients will tell you. So I'm excited about sharing this. And uh, for now, I just want you to think about your products and services and the way you have to sign them and to, um, to ask yourself exactly who it is that I want to serve, because it's the first step. You know, who is my ideal consumer, the ideal user of my training program, of my coaching consulting program, of my book? Who is my ideal client? I really want you to think about that and, and be able to articulate that really clearly because that is key for you to design and promote a product that sells. Okay, so I want you to uh, I invite you actually to in the comment section, write down who the ideal client for your products and programs is 
and you'll see how it's not that easy. Once you start thinking about it and you want to define it in three lines or so, uh, it becomes difficult. Okay, so I invite you to do that. I'll be checking all the answers. And I also included a, a link to my uh, how to offer blueprint, which is awesome if you have a digital product or program coaching program, consulting program that you want to position to be irresistible, then uh, you'll love that blueprint. So be sure to download that, enter your ideal client and ideal avatar in the comment section. Thank you so much and you know, stay tuned for uh, future short trainings on how to create products and programs that sell so you can create the impact you desire. Because as I always say, every second of your life, you have to reveal your magnificence. Yes, you have to create a magnificent business that allows you to share your gifts with the world. Thank you.